2023 has brought us some incredible new roller coasters from top manufacturers in the amusement industry, including Vacoma, B&M, Intamin, GCI, RMC, and more, all showcasing some never before seen elements and ride types all over the USA and Europe. New trains, first of its kinds, and more. It was a pretty damn good year for attractions. This year, I've been extremely lucky and fortunate to ride a lot of these new coasters, and there's five that really stand out as the five best of 2023. I'm Austin, and here is my list for the top five new coasters of 2023. Let's get right into it at number five, Wildcats Revenge at Hershey Park. You know we had a really great year for coasters if this is number five, because this is already an incredible ride that really does feel different than a lot of other RMCs. This manufacturer, of course known for having some of the best roller coasters all over the world, their entire collection of rides are all world class. A redo of the classic wooden roller coaster Wildcat, this steel tracked coaster is a very wild ride with some new elements starting right off the bat with the first element. You head up a spiral and then you're perfectly caught and turned downwards mimicking the old drop of the original Wildcat. It's a very satisfying move. I love the long moments of airtime that this ride has, including this huge airtime hill right off the bat, and also the zero-g stall, plus the funny shaping through the zero-g rolls, which really aren't your standard rolls. They do really whip you in a very out of control way. This ride is intense, and it does a really good job keeping the pace throughout the layout. I also love the way RMC didn't really follow the old layout of Wildcat exactly. It really allowed them to do whatever they wanted with the space. It doesn't feel like as much of a redo as some other RMCs might. You really don't notice that you're in the old Wildcat layout, or even the old Wildcat plot of land at all, and that's really good. I really don't know how this next coaster didn't receive more recognition in the industry as a whole. The way the seats force you up into airtime with no real way to brace the lower half of your body, it's really unlike any coaster on the planet. This ride proved to me that B&M is still one of the best. They're still the manufacturer that can pull off the comfort that this coaster provides while it's still being a stand-up coaster. I think the layout could benefit from less turns and a large out and back layout that would surround the outside of a park's plot of land would really work better for this model. But for the first of its kind model, I'm sure they didn't even know just how fun the airtime was going to be on this thing. Even the launch just pulls you up off the floor because of the acceleration Gs. There's nothing like that large first S-shaped airtime hill Really an awesome ride with a model that has potential to become a top coaster. It's another RMC, the second out of five on this list, and it's Airy Force One at Fun Spot Atlanta. It really proves that the out and back layout from RMC works really, really well. This all steel roller coaster is of course smooth as glass and every element gives off some negative G's that are strong and enjoyable apart from that ending, which would have been more comfortable in my opinion and a better ride for me if it was just a couple hills instead of the five thigh crushing hills over and over. Other than that, the double up into the huge down, the stall and the heartline roll were all better than expected, and they really make for an incredibly well-rounded ride that makes me want to go back to Atlanta way more often. It's pretty awesome to have two parks to visit in the area now, and it'll have me traveling to Atlanta much more often. This coaster really takes this fun spot into a next level park that is ready to compete with the larger regional parks. Even though the park still needs a lot of TLC, it doesn't really bother me too much since this ride is here. Airy Force One is one of the best coasters in the USA. Down to the final two, these were extremely hard because I actually enjoy the layout of the one I put at number two more than the one I have at number one, but here at number two is Tutatis at Parc Asterix near Paris, France. The problem I have with these triple launches is the odd pacing that they provide when you go through this triple pass. Slow at first, and then insanely fast and strong G's 
as you travel through the piece of trek for the second time and then the third time but the rest of this layout is absolute perfection it really does have everything in it the starting hills are a fun build up and the layout after the top hat really includes one of everything that you could want amazing stall a fun turnaround that you don't really see anywhere else an amazing straight airtime hill and a fast heartline roll with the added head chopper to finish it all off just give me one hop into the brake run at the end though personal preference i know that people have this ranked extremely highly on their list it really is one of the best coasters in the world i just don't think a triple pass launch coaster will ever be the best coaster in the world the winner, another Intamin. Intamin takes the top two spots this year. It's Gotham City Escape. This ride is all about the trains, really the best coaster trains on the market right now. I don't even think it's close. I'm really in love with everything about these new trains from Intamin. The back of each car is staggered just enough that provides a slightly different ride from the front row. The launches kick extremely hard. This must be a new style of LSM from them. The trains are very nimble. They really feel like they're capable of super quick transitions. The carbon fiber restraints are light and comfortable. They don't push down on you during the ride. You're, no, you're not going to run into any sky rush problems or Hagrid's motorbike problems where really your thighs just feel crushed by the end of the ride. This one is comfortable throughout. The ride really has some great inversions too. Slow hang time, a really strong airtime hill, crazy stall at the end. The top hat is fun and the pause at the top doesn't really detract too much from the experience. And the wave turns are strong pops of negative Gs and unlike any other wave turn that you've been through. This is definitely the best new coaster of 2023 for me. This year, I also had a vote open for all of the followers of the channel and my personal Instagram page where the riders you could vote and your top five that you voted on actually included all of the same coasters as I have on my list here. So you guys threw Airy Force One at number five, then followed by Pipeline at number four. Hershey Park's Wildcats Revenge took the top three spot. And then the final votes, really with a widespread vote count, the vote for the top spot was 928 to 688. Quite a wide margin of victory for this coaster. It was Tutatis at Park Asterix. So congrats to the manufacturer Intamin for taking the top two spots and Europe for taking the top win for both me and a lot of the riders out there. I think the high level of theming for these coasters as well as the full layouts are what have them deserve the top two spots. Congrats to Parc Asterix in France and also Parque Warner Madrid for grabbing these two top spots from myself and the many riders of these coasters that voted. 2024 is really going to be a super interesting year with some different manufacturers at play here, like Mock Rides with the two massive coasters in Europe, and of course, Zamperla with the huge Top Thrill 2 project. Everybody's watching Zamperla. Good luck, and I hope it works out. It should be an extremely fun 2024. Thank you as always for watching, and until next time, see ya.